Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Everybody can hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm just making sure everybody is able to connect. Okay. Okay, all right, so we have full house today. That's great. We have, wonderful, we have um, 17 students. Great. Good okay. evening, teacher. So I'm wait for, let's give them one more minute for everybody to connect. Uh, <laughs> Hey, all right, let's uh let's begin. Well, welcome to everybody. How are you today? Good? Fine, thank you. Great. Great. Very well, thank you. Very good Very well. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. And there are more people that are connecting. That's wonderful. Okay, well, uh, first of all, um, let me say welcome back. Uh, we're happy to see you again this year. Um, how were the vacations? Good vacation. It was great. <laughs> or no, or there was no vacation. It, it was great. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. It, it okay. was funny. It was funny or fun? Funny. Funny? Really? Yes. Eh, <laughs> yes. And fun. <laughs> and fun. Yes. Okay. All right. That's good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. We're still having more people that are connecting. It's great. Wow. Big class. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see everybody. Okay, let's just give a little bit more time for everybody to connect. Okay, all right. Well, like I said, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad that everybody is back. Um, excellent, I'm glad to hear that. And um, I'm glad to see that everybody is, um, is safe. You know, it's very important in these days to be safe. So. I'm glad about that. Um, well, guys, um, first of all, uh, let me introduce myself. Like I said in the WhatsApp group, my name is Jessica Guerrero. Jessica Guerrero. Uh, I'm going to be. Yes, that's right. Okay. Jessica Guerrero. Guerrero. I'm going to be with you for this module. Um, so I'm very excited uh, with you. I'm very excited. We're going to be learning lots of things together in these next four months. Teacher. Oh, first of all, Teacher. yes, I hear you, but it, with noise and uh, interferes with your your voice. You can hear me with interference in the voice. Yes, and some of the other <clears throat> classmates. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Uh, well, for the moment, then uh, maybe I'm going to ask everybody to turn off their, their microphone. That way, maybe it will be better that way. Is that okay? Sounds good? Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, all right. So, um, like, uh, can you hear me a little bit better now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Great. Yes. Okay, so as I was saying, um, 
Uh, before anything, I want to introduce myself. My name is uh, Jessica Guerrero, and I'm going to be with you for the next four weeks. Uh, we're going to be learning lots of things together, uh, and of course, I'm going to be um, helping you out in anything that you need. Uh, we're going to be helping you as much as possible. That's the idea. With this, um, with this program, the idea is for us to um, be able to uh, support you in anything that you need with the platform because you know the course is mainly with the platform right that's that's the main part of the course right um, and these are just uh, supporting sessions so we're gonna be supporting you as much as we can okay and um, before anything I wanted to know did everybody register uh, to the whatsapp group is everybody in the whatsapp group yeah. Yes. 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 Teacher. Right yes. now. Yes. Okay. Well, it's okay if you're just doing it now. That's not a problem, right? Um, the important thing is that you do it, right? That well, that's the most important thing. Okay. Um. So, um, if you have not registered yet, or you haven't joined, better said, because it's more about joining. If you haven't joined yet. Um, then it, you can still do it uh, in the in this email that was sent to you. It should um, have all the information, um, including the WhatsApp group. So you can um, you can read, uh, join by just clicking, um, and that will take you directly to the WhatsApp group. Okay. So I would like everybody, if possible, to join the WhatsApp group. It's very it's very useful to be on the WhatsApp group because that's where we share everything. We share links, we share, um, we share um, information from from the class. Um, you can ask questions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right. So that's why it's important uh, for us to to have um, the um, what's it called the 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 communication through the WhatsApp. So if you haven't done it, please join. Uh, during the class or after the class, but make sure you do join today. Okay. Are there any questions about the WhatsApp group? No. No question, teacher. Okay. Please let me know if there's any questions. No, no teacher. Okay, great, excellent. All right, the other thing is, um, of course, we all need to be working in the platform. So has everybody uh, been able to register in the platform? Um, everybody has their, um, uh, yeah, they have, uh, you have already registered to be able to access the platform? That's the next question. Not yet. So nobody has been able to register in the platform yet? No. No, I don't. Today I verified my user in the platform and it's okay. I can log in and load my new course. Perfect. Thank you very much, Elena. That's excellent. Good. Yes, I really encourage you to do that. Um, try to... Uh, to register if possible today, see if the username works, see if everything works, because the earlier you do that, the better it is, because that way we're not rushing at the last moment, okay? Um, so please try to, to do that. Um, remember, it's very important for us to complete our platform. In fact, you know that to be able to, um, to have the certificate for next module, we have to have a minimum of 80% right on the platform more great but less no so if you have 79 you do not pass and that means that you have to start early as early as possible okay so just a reminder everybody um how we're going to be working in the course there's if you have already seen the platform there are five sections we only have four weeks therefore what we're going to do in the first two weeks we're going to be seeing section one section two and section three Okay, 
And in the, um, in the third week, we're going to see section four. Okay. And in the fourth week, we're going to see section five. Okay. So that's how we're going to work. And of course, we have the midterms and the final exam. So that means that midterm, you should uh, be finished um, by the beginning of the third week. You should have already finished the midterm. And uh, the final exam should be done around the last day of class. Do you have any questions about that? No, teacher. No, okay. no question. I don't no have questions. No question, teacher. No, I have question, teacher. I don't have question, teacher. Okay. Before anything, how many people are new to English Corporativo? I'm new. I am too. I am new too. I knew. I am not new. <laughs> I'm new. I'm not new, teacher. Good. So I've, I've counted about six or seven people that have told me that they're new, which is I'm wonderful. And uh, yeah. welcome. Welcome, first of all. Uh, welcome to, to Inglés Corporativo. Um, for the people that are new, um, just like uh, Douglas, Douglas Enrique, welcome. Um, for the people that are new, um, just uh, let, it's going, this is something that's gonna be completely um, a new for you, a new experience. Um, what we do with this course, um, with, this course is actually, um, it's 40 hours of class for the, for the people that are not really familiar with how this works. It's gonna be four, 40 hours of class and 26 of those, sorry, no, sorry. 24, yeah, 24 of those hours are spent on the platform, okay? So the idea is for you to work on the platform and complete by yourself 24 hours. The remaining 16 hours of class will be online, okay? So we're gonna be having classes from eight to nine, Monday to Thursday. Is that clear? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes. Good, okay. So yes. Monday to Thursday, Friday, we do not have class, okay? So Friday, uh, don't connect because I'm not gonna be on and no one's gonna be on, okay? It's really so, um, <laughs> yeah, you can connect if you want, but we're not gonna be here. But uh, what I do strongly suggest is that you connect to the platform and work on the platform. That's what I strongly connect, I suggest, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. All right, everybody can hear me okay? Yes. 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 I, I listen the little noise when you speak. I don't know, is the, the Wi Fi? You hear a little noise when I speak? Yes. Yes, it's a noise. Is for the I think the the noise is for the microphone because it's a, a like only a when you speak. Is this better? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you speak <laughs> again, <laughs> please? Okay, can you hear me a little bit better now? Is this a, a better now with, or is it still uh, a little fuzzy? Not the chair. It's better. It's better? It's better, teacher. It's better. Yes, yes, it's yes. better. At least. Okay, let me, let me just try one more thing. Tell me if this sounds a little bit better now. Can you hear me a little bit better now, or is that worse? A little better. <laughs> yes, a little better. Okay, great. We'll keep it like that then. If you guys um, are having any problems, let me know again. Okay, so anyway, um, as I was saying, um, we're going to be doing um, is 
uh, work. So in this in this um, in this module, or better said, in in this um, program, okay, in the program, what we do is uh, we listen. Sorry, we we do the platform um, and we do the the virtual classes as a support. Okay, so if the virtual classes are are here for me to support you with the information from the the, um, the platform. So during the the, um, the the sessions, we're going to be looking at things that we are seeing in the platform. And this is the moment where you are able to ask questions. If from the platform you have a question about an exercise, I can go over the answer to to not not specifically tell you this is the answer. No, th that's not the idea. It's more about um, to be able to um, tell you, okay, this is, we, um, who, um, we have to do this because of this, and that will make it easier for you to understand it. Okay, that's the idea here. Okay, so to make it as, as easy as possible for you to work in the platform. Okay, now the platform is um, composed of five sections okay and um the sections like I, I mentioned before there are five sections and because there are four four weeks we're going to be working in the first two weeks we're going to work on the first three sections and um on the last the the third week we're going to work on the fourth section and the last week on the fourth week we're going to work in the fifth section now there are midterms that you take in the middle of the, the the midterms are in the platform and you can work in the midterm at any moment you want but the idea is for you to do the midterm um, sometime before the third week begins and then finish off the course by doing the the last um, the final exam which is um, going to be due you should be doing it probably like the, the last day of class, okay? That's the, ideally you should be done by the end of the, of the course, okay? Now, something very important for you guys to notice is that, like I said before, the limit is, the limit, the time limit is the day that we, the, when we finish class. I know that in the platform, it says another date, but that, do not pay attention to that date. That date is there for, administration purposes what we need to focus on is try to finish the platform um, by the end of the course uh, by the way do you know when the end of the course is going to be anybody know that when we finish no I don't Okay, we should be finished on the 18th of February. That's the, our goal, okay? So by the, the 18th of February, sometime around that time, you should be finished everything in the platform. And for you to get a certificate, you need to, uh, you need to be able to complete um, the platform with a minimum of 80%. So eight zero or more, okay? If you do it more, great. Now, um, something that you that will be helpful for you is for you to remember that um, the platform, or better, the platform is divided into three sections, if I'm not mistaken. In the sense that, um, for you to get the final score, the sections are. Um, Oh, I've forgotten right now. I think it's, if, let's see. Oh, man, I've forgotten right now. Um, exercise. Yeah, the exercises, um, the midterm and the final exam, but I just don't remember how much the percentage is for each one. That's what I don't remember right now. But anyways, uh, what I'm going to tell you is that the percent, the score that is the highest 
is the midterm and the final exam. I'll, I'll tell you exactly the percentages tomorrow because I don't remember this moment. But the percentages are, there's a certain percentage for the exercises, another percentage for the midterm, and another percentage for the final exam. And the final exam is the one that has the biggest percentage. The midterm is the second highest, and the exercise is the last. So I, I strongly, strongly, strongly suggest that you uh, make sure you do your best job in the, um, in the midterm and the final exam. Okay, so put all of your effort on those two things because that's gonna be the one that's gonna give you the highest score. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, perfect. Now, um, what else I was gonna tell you? Um, oh, okay. So also uh, make sure that you try to complete everything that there is in the platform because including the discussion boards because that's gonna help you to be able to get more practice. And try also not to miss any classes if possible, uh, because that will also give you the opportunity to practice. The more you practice, the easier it will be for you, and you're gonna do better on, on, the, um, on the platform, okay? Does anybody have any questions at this moment about the platform? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, Francisco, did you have a question? No, no teacher. No. Oh. Thank you. Okay, great. Now, this, the other thing I wanted to mention is um, that these, these um, classes are recorded, okay? If you all notice, um, there is a, the class is being recorded. It says at the top there that it's being recorded. All the classes are recorded, okay? So if, like I said, the, the ideally you should be able to... Um, Ideally, you should be able to um, attend all of the classes, but if you are not able to attend for whatever reason, or you would like to review something from the previous class, you can see it in the YouTube channel, okay? We all, we, you probably already know that we have a YouTube channel, and the classes will be um, uploaded to the YouTube channel um in um by the next day at eight o'clock okay so if you want to see it you can you can see the class um after eight o'clock on the next day so in, in other words this class right now is being recorded and i'm going to be uploading it and by eight o'clock tomorrow it should be in the playlist you have the link for the playlist in the the email that was sent to you so you should just have to click on it and automatically it will send you to the playlist so you can see the last um, the the last um, video that was uploaded and you can see anything. I strongly suggest that if you are not able to be in class someday that you um, that you watch the video, okay? Because that way you will be able to understand better what uh, we are seeing and ask any questions accordingly, okay? Any questions? I have a question. I have a question. Okay, um, the attendance is going to have some percentage in the final grade. You mean the attendance of the class? Yeah. Um, the attendance of the class, is, like I said, is not mandatory, but it's strongly suggested because uh, the more you are able to um, the, the more you are able to be in class and practice, the better you will do on the platform. okay? So like I said, it's not it's not mandatory, 
but it, like, I strongly suggest that you are in class because that way I can help you more. If you miss a class, it, you're going to um, probably have like questions, lagoons that are going to be a little bit difficult to, to help you with later. So my suggestion, try to be in class as much as possible. Like if you can, don't miss any classes. Does that answer your question, Erlinda? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, good. Okay, um, let me see. So we've covered, um, okay, we covered the platform, we've covered the WhatsApp group, we've covered um, the playlist. Um, are there any questions about the email that was sent to you? Any of the links uh, that maybe do not work? Anybody want to tell me about that? Okay, perfect. In that case, um, since uh, there is no, do you have any questions, anything um, you want to ask before we continue, uh, before we start our class? No, teacher. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to take it as that everything is 100% um, clear and we're going to start. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so to begin, we're in this module, um, we're going to be looking um, at, like I said, section, there are going to be five sections. And the first section that we're going to start with, our first topic we're going to look at is called, is the simple past. Okay, so today we're going to be basically doing a review of all of the things that you have learned about the simple past. Okay, but before we start reviewing, who can tell me why do we use the simple past? What, what is it? What is the function? Why do we need it? Me teacher, can I try? Sure, go, sure, go ahead. Oh, the question is, what is the simple past? Yeah. Uh, for, why do we use the simple past? Uh, we use the simple past for an action that is that ended in the past, and we do for the past uh, the auxiliary do did did, and for the affirmative, we just we just use the the verb in the past with e. ID at the end in regular bear and, and in regular bear there is something different, something like that. And the, the general question is, what did you do? Something like that. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Max. Exactly. Yes, uh, very good. So basically for the simple past, um, the reason why we use a simple pass, what, or what's the difference between other paths, is that the simple pass it tells about an action that happened in the past and it's finished, it's done. Okay, we and most of the time you know exactly when it finished. Okay, so to, to give you an example, if I say to you, I finished work today at five. So that is something that is finished, that action is finished, right? I don't continue working. Well, right now I am, right? But I'm just supposing, right? If I say to you, um, yeah, well, I, I didn't finish at five, but imagine you did, okay? So you said, okay, you finished at five, you finished work at five. So that action of working, finished. You're no longer working, you're studying, right? But not you're not uh, working at all. So, and most of the time, like I said, you know when it happened, when it finished. In this case, it finished at five o'clock. Now, the past can be at any moment. It doesn't have to be necessarily a long time ago. Like I said, five o'clock, that was only, you know, three and a half hours ago. That's quite not, not too far away. So the past is simply anything that is before, okay? So, um, for example, um, 
a let's say you are um, t you can also talk about something that's very far away um, like um, something that happened like when you were born okay be careful specifically with this verb because many times I hear students saying I born in you know 2000 to give an example I born I no. was born exactly very good what was that Max could you repeat that I was born in 2000 good exactly with the verb, with the verb be mm -hmm. exactly with the verb to be we say I was born not I born so there we're using the past of the verb to be because the verb is be born not born it's be born okay so uh be careful of how you use the different verbs Okay, because sometimes we're going to have to use the verb to be, and in their case, the, the past of the verb to be is either was or where, 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 exactly, was or were. Okay, so be careful with that. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you, um, I'm going to share my PowerPoint presentation with you. Um, and tell me if you can see this or not. Okay, let me know when you can see it. Yeah, ready. Yes. Yes, I yes can teacher, see I can see. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, I can see. Okay, perfect. So this is um, this is the English Intermediate One, right? This is module number one. Uh, your facilitator, like I said before, is Jessica Guerrero. It's day number one, and our date today is Monday, January twenty fifth, two thousand twenty one. Yay! We finished two thousand twenty, right? That horrible year is gone. <laughs> we'll have to see how this one works out for us. Okay, so anyway, um, all right, let's uh, go to the next part here. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at, first of all, a, the, the structures that we use with um, the simple past, okay? All right, so um, we have simple, the past simple, the past continuous, and the past perfect uh, simple. But I don't want you to focus on this, okay? These are all the different types of structures. What I'm going to ask you to focus yeah. on is actually Teacher, this part right here. You can yes. put the presentation in the presentation form because I uh, uh, text very Oops. little. Oh, okay. Um, you know what? The only uh, the only problem is that for some reason I don't know when I've done that in the past it gets distorted. That's why I'm not presenting like that. But what I'm gonna do is do this. Does that, whoops, hold on, that's way too much. Ah, hold on, give me a moment, give me a moment. Give me one second. I think it, I think I angered it. <laughs> it doesn't want to cooperate with me anymore. Okay. So <laughs> anyways, no uh, well, 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 yes, yes, it's, it's, um, yeah, <laughs> I made it angry. It's like, oh, I'm not going to cooperate now. <laughs> so anyways, um, the thing is, okay, while we are waiting for it, for it to respond, um, the thing with the simple past is you've got to, uh, make sure that you use um, the correct form with regular verbs, okay? Um, okay, there it is back again. Okay, just give me a second here. Um, so simple. What, so we have the simple past, we have to make sure that we use the correct form. So normally what we do is with the subject, hold on, oh, it's doing something weird right now. I don't know what it's doing. 
Oh, okay. I see what it did. Okay. Can you see that better? Is that is that a little bit better for you? Yes, teacher. We can see better. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. All right. So, uh, with the simple past, we have to start with the uh, we start with the subject. Okay. Um, so whether it's I, you, he, she, 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 whatever. So the great thing, the great thing about the simple past is that um, you do not have to worry about the the verb. Uh, sorry, the the subject. So it doesn't matter if it's I or you or he or she or it. It's always going to be the same. Unlike the simple present, where you have to worry about if it's um, if it's for example um, the um, if it's I or if it's if it's he third person singular um, then with those ones with this one you don't have to worry about it it's always going to be the same independent of the subject okay so if it's I you he she it we they it doesn't matter then after that we put the verb and with regular form we put ed okay or sometimes it can be just um, D, okay? When would it, do you guys remember when we put um, just the letter D? In what, in what kind of verbs do we put just the letter D? Just D. Arrive. Arrive. Just plus D, arrive. Right, exactly. In a ver in arrive, we would only put a D. And the reason is because arrive finishes in an E. But all the verbs that are regular and finish in E, then we're going to add just the D. Okay? Now, in the, in the verbs that um, finish in Y, uh, then what we're gonna do? What are what are we gonna do in that case? In verbs that finish in y, uh, and specifically consonant in y. Like for example, fly. Imagine the verb fly. Okay. Um. Actually, I'm going to write it here. Let's see if I can make it work. So, in verbs like fly, for example, okay, where you have a verb, the verb is, it, fly is a, is a verb that is, um, that is uh, regular, but if, and if, you, if you notice it finishes in Y, and right before the Y, there is a, a, a what's it called, a consonant. So, what do we do in those cases? Who remembers? I think, I think, we, sorry, sorry, <laughs> talk. It's okay, go ahead. Okay. I think, but I don't know. You, you can add ENG or, or no, I don't know. <laughs> no. Or no. You change. Okay. Thank you, Patricia. Yeah. Anybody, change. any other guesses? We change, why? By I am al ed. Yes. Good. Yeah, exactly. What we do is we eliminate the Y. So we, we delete it. Okay. And then we add, instead of the Y, we put an I. I. Okay. So I'm going to change the colors so that it'll be easier for you to see. 
I put an I. And then after that, oh no, no, sorry, my mistake. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I did that. Um, sorry, it should, uh, it should not be fly. Let me change it to try because um, fly is irregular. Let me change it to try. Okay, so, um, all right, so then we change it to I, okay, and then we put ED, okay? After the, the I, we're gonna add ED. So I'm just going to change it there, ED. And it would be tried. So I'm going to change that color because I don't like it. It's not very clear. Okay. Um, change it to this color. Okay. Um, so. That's how we're gonna be doing the regular ones, okay? So try it like this. All right, is that pretty clear for everybody? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good, yes, okay. Teacher. Great. So in theory, what, what's, what's gonna happen is when, um, when you write the sentence, we're gonna just follow this, uh, something simple like this. We're going to have the subject, then the verb. We, we already did the change of verb there, and then we have the complement. For example, we can say, um, she, so we can say, she, she tried. Um, she tried, um, a pupusa, let's say. Try to propose that. Okay, that would be our complement. Okay. Yeah. Now, in the negative, what happens in the negative is we're going to use the same structure here, but instead we're going to use um, the did not. Okay. So, let's take the same sentence here, and we're going to say she. And this time we're going to be using did not, okay, or didn't for short, okay. So we're going to say she uh, didn't, or I'm going to did not, or didn't. And once again, the beauty of this part is that it doesn't have to, you don't have to worry about the subject. It doesn't matter if it's he, she, it, we, they. It's always going to be the same. Okay? So far, so good? Okay, teacher. I didn't. A, a T. Extra T. <laughs> Excellent, teacher. Thank you. So far, thank so good. you. Okay, yeah. Sometimes computers are a little bit rebel here okay so she didn't she did not or she didn't and then again we would put the word try but notice that we here we have the verb in the basic form so it's not it's no longer going to be um, tried we're not gonna say she tried instead what we're gonna do sorry we're not gonna say she did not tried we're gonna say she did not try so we're going to leave it in the basic form. Not We're not going to say she didn't tried. So that's not correct. We're going to say she didn't try in the basic form. Is that clear for everybody or is that not clear? It's clear, teacher. It's clear. It's clear. Perfect. Okay. All right. And we're going to do the complement, of course. Okay, so she did not, or she did not try a pupusa. 
Okay, so we're, we're talking about, imagine some, this is a, a, a um, tourist that comes to El Salvador, right? So we're talking about tourists, we're talking about um, if she tried it, she didn't try it, whatever, right? Okay, and that, that's going to be the, the, the negative, okay? So, so far here we have a positive. this in a what color what color should we put it um, we'll leave it in this color okay so this is the positive and this would be the negative right okay now let's talk about the interrogative Okay, we need to talk about the interrogative. In this case, the interrogative, as you notice in the structure here, we're going to start with did. And again, the beauty of this is that we do not have to worry about um, the subject, if it's, you know, third person singular or not. Um, we're going to use the same did. Okay, so if it's he or we or they or I, it's going to be the same thing. So we're going to start with um, the did. We're always going to start with did. So we're going to start right here with did. Okay. And then after that, we're going to it's going to follow by the subject, as you can see here. We're going to keep the same subject just so that it's easy for you to understand. Okay, so we're gonna say, did she? Okay. And after that, we're going to follow. Oh. In a second. And after that, it's going to follow the verb. Now notice here again, the verb is not in the ed form. It's going to be in the basic form. Okay, just like it is here. So we're going to say, did she, what would it be? Try. Try. A pupusa. Try. Right, exactly. Did she try? And of course, um, we're going to come do the, the compliment, a pupusa. Okay, and don't forget the question mark. Okay, that would be the interrogative um, question. So, in this one, we're always going to start with did, and we are never going to um, to put the verb in the past. Okay, why? Why? Some people may ask why if we're talking about this. If this is the um, simple past well the reason is very simple and it's because did is already in the past okay that structure is already in the past the the verb did the auxiliary did has already been put in the past so you already know that it's the past okay in English we can never have a double of something so if I put try in the simple past then it would be a double negative sorry the a double past and that's not possible. Only one has to be in the past. In this case, it's the auxiliary. Now, the, now I have a question for you. Now, this is not here. This is not in the, in the structures, but um, I'm, going to, I'm going to ask you, who knows how to answer this question? If I ask, did she try pupusa? What are the possible answers? Yes, she did, or no, she didn't. Perfect, exactly. Let's write that down. Oh. 
Okay, so this, this would be the way that we would answer this question. Um, so it's always going to be the yes. Yes, right? Now, because this is a yes or no question, we, the only possible answers are yes or no, right? There's nothing else that we can we can possibly answer, okay? Because there's only yes, she yes, she did try the pupusa, no, she didn't try the pupusa, right? So it's one or the other, okay? Now, what you do have to be careful though is that we are not going to be using the verb in this case. We only stick to the auxiliary, just like we do with the other with other questions, okay? All right. So, so did she try pupusa? Yes, she did. Um, or no, she didn't. Okay. Now, this is, this is um, for all the the struct all the, the verbs that exist in English, except for one verb. That is an exception. Who knows what is the exception? Which verb is the exception? Nobody knows which verb is the exception? We talked about it. Exception. We talked about it just a few minutes ago. Nobody remembers? No. The Barbie. Exactly. It's the verb to be. Don't forget that English in English the verb to be is always an exception. Okay? I'll repeat that. In English, the verb to be is always an exception. So any mm -hmm. any any um, structure that you learn, you know that the verb to be is the exception to that rule. Okay? So in the case, for example, of the verb to be, we would never say, for, it's not possible to say, did, uh, sorry, she did not be. It's not possible. She she did not be, or did she be a blah blah blah? No, that's not possible. Okay. So with the verb to be, what structure do we use? Well, we're going to we're actually going to start using precisely the verb to be. What's the past of the verb to be? What did we say was the past? Was or were. Was and were. Was and were. Exactly, yes. So, um, so we're going to say, for example, was, and then we're, then we're going to use um, the verb to, uh, sorry, the, the subject. Okay. okay, in this case, because we're using was, I'm going to say, for example, he. Was he? And then I use the complement, right? Okay. For example, was he? Uh, was he tired? Okay. And was he tired? And the answer would be yes. He was. He was, he was exactly as he was. Or. Was. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Exactly. No, he. He wasn't. No, he okay. wasn't. Uh, now, so in this one, we're not going to have a verb. There's not going to be a verb because the verb to be is both a verb and an auxiliary at the same time. Okay. So that's that's why it's it's special because the verb to be is both an auxiliary and a verb. So it doesn't need another auxiliary because it itself is an auxiliary. Okay? Yeah? Does that make okay. sense for everybody? It's okay. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's okay. Great. And it's okay. one more thing that I want to teach you um, about 
um, about the verb to be, it, and it's that, um, sorry, um, hold on, just give me a moment. Oh, sorry, not, sorry, not about the verb to be. Um, what I want to teach you is that um, you also have to remember that some verbs, sorry, some questions will not be necessarily yes or no. And that's when we use um, a question, a, a question word, okay? Um, let me, I think, I don't, I don't have very much space here, so I'm gonna make a little bit more space. Okay, so um, if if we're going to be using a question word, uh, for example, uh, we we can use the same um, we can use the same structures as here, uh, whether it's um, the verb to be or another another verb. Um, and beginning with the question with a question word. For example, uh, we can start with when. Uh, when uh, and I'm gonna say when <coughs> I think it's easier if I do it again. When was um, no, when were when were you born? When were you born? So in this case, we're using the verb to be. Okay. For, so we're going to start with the with the 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 question word. The question word is when, and then we're going to have the the verb. Sorry, the the subject and the complement. When were you born? And then the answer here is going to not going to be yes or no because it's a it's a question. It's a information question. Um, so we can't just say when were you born? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. You're gonna say um, I was born in blah blah blah. Okay, I was born in whenever it is that you were born. Okay, here we're going to be using then the the verb to be. Okay, sounds good, everybody. Yes. It's okay. Okay, and just a quick reminder. Um, uh, that this is for regular verbs, okay? But you also have to know that there are irregular verbs, and with irregular verbs, I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, we have a, a lot of different. Um, there, there's a list of about more than two hundred verbs. Um, in the past irregular that you have to learn. For example, the past of uh, begin is not beginned, it's began. The past of drink is not drinked, it's drank. Done. Okay. The past of grow is not growed, it's grew. The past of um, give is not um, given, it's gave, and so on. So you have, for these ones, unfortunately, there's no other way to do it except to learn it by memory, right? Learn it by heart, like we say in English. Okay, so you're so this is something you're gonna have to work with. Um, I can send you um, through the WhatsApp group. I will send you a list of um, past irregular verbs for you guys to continue practicing. So we're gonna leave our class up to there today. And what I'm gonna ask you guys to do for homework is I want you to make a short paragraph. Uh, I would say maybe write um, between eight to ten paragraphs about something about your life thing but things that happened in the past okay so eight to ten paragraphs about things that happened like think about your life and i'm going to ask you to write five questions that you want to ask your classmates about their past okay okay does that make sense yeah Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes, teacher. Perfect. So that will be all for today. I will send you guys the list in the WhatsApp group, WhatsApp group, and I'll give you the reminder of the homework. Okay. So it's been great seeing you guys today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye.
Take care. Goodbye. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank nice you. to meet you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Have a nice Goodbye. day. Bye. Thank you.